Howdy folks, my name's Shane, welcome to the channel. I'm a content creator across a number of different YouTube channels. I also use Final Cut Pro 10. I just upgraded to 10.4.4, and this little glitch might be a deal breaker for some people. It's definitely a glitch, or a bug, or whatever you want to call it. It's definitely not designed to be this way. I actually called Apple support and they told me to check the release notes. What? Good job, Apple. This customer support sucks. But anyway, let's get into this because this might be a deal breaker if you're considering upgrading and you don't use Time Machine. I highly suggest you use Time Machine because some of your destinations or export settings that you've used don't always work now. And I'm gonna show you the bug and hopefully if you've found a way to fix this, please let me know as well. As of right now, I haven't found a fix and I've reinstalled Mojave now twice to see if it fixed this glitch. Everything's up to date. I got the latest version of everything on here. I do use Time Machine, so going back to High Sierra, it worked. But anyway, let's get into this and this you can decide whether or not this is a deal breaker for you. So I shoot everything in 4K and I've got a project on screen right now that I've already exported, but I wanted to show you a little bit about the bug. So here we go. Now, as you can see on screen, I'm using Final Cut Pro 10.4.4. You can see that on screen. If I hit Command J and you look at the top right, you can see my project is 3840 by 2160 in 25p. That's the PAL frame rate right there. So that's normal. Everything looks good. Now, this is the sort of interesting thing. I put all my content on the web. So if I go to Add Destination, I've recently just reset all of these, and I go to add a new destination. I wanna say export a file here, and I wanna make my own custom one. The format, I wanna to go to web hosting, and then the resolution tab is the important one here. Look what's missing. It's missing 3840 by 2160. It's not there, it's got cinema 4K, which is 4096. Now, I thought, you know what, if I just choose 4096, and go to export the project, I'm gonna be all good, right? And now for me, the web hosting format saves the uploading time and all that kind of stuff. So in Australia, our internet sucks. I use the web hosting format there and I've been using that for a couple of years now since I moved over to Mac. So you think that's gonna be fine, right? So you go to export the project. So if you look on screen, you see it says 960 by 540. 960 by 540 and you think okay go to the settings tab pull down the drop menu and there it is 3840 by 2160 so this is clearly a bug that option should be in the destinations option but it isn't i can't believe the tech guy just told me to check the release notes he's going on about batch rendering and all this kind of stuff this is something else this is clearly a screw up and if you're not paying attention and you put a, a couple of hours or more into a project and you think you're exporting it at 4K and you're not, be very, very careful. So the workaround is it still works, but it's not as efficient as it was. And now I have to just double check every time I export a project that it's exporting at the actual resolution of the timeline, which is 3840 by 2160. So just be really careful with that. If I go into Apple devices and I set up that destinations like that, it will be fine, but the file's much, much larger and I don't want to upload a file that's you know, twice as large. So I thought I'd make this video for all the 4K content creators out there and YouTubers who are thinking of either going to 10.4.4 or wondering if there's any bugs. So the one bug is pretty huge if you shoot in 4K. Just be really careful of this. I don't know why 3840 by 2160 is missing in the destinations. Now, if you upgrade and you had a prior preset made as well, it's still not gonna work it's gonna be uh, your default and it will now be the lowest resolution. So just be really careful at export. I'm sure some people have already been stung by this. It got me on the first video I uploaded it and went, why was it so quick? And then I went, ah, so it's actually exporting it at the wrong resolution. While I can still export at web hosting format at 4K, I have to double check I'm doing it right. I'm gonna put a sign up on the wall here just to remind me to do that until this is hopefully fixed or I should just check the release notes. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below. Please let me know if you're having this problem as well. Just double check it, create a 4K timeline, throw a photo or something in there, try to export and do what I did at the start via Add Destinations. I can't use a preset anymore. It's kind of like, just it just sucks. <laughs> anyway, thanks again guys, catch you soon. See ya.